Word also lets you make envelopes very quickly and easily, not only envelopes, but mailing labels as well. And you do that from an entirely new tab that we really haven't dealt with so far, and that's the mailings tab of the ribbon. And we can do this for an existing document. So we have this letter or this document that we have. And we want to create an envelope for it. We can just click on envelope and add it to the document. But we can even just come to Word, open it up, and create a new document and make an envelope just from scratch, or for that matter, a mailing label. So on the mailings tab here of the ribbon, we've got this left section, this left grouping called create, and we can create envelopes, and we can create labels. And actually, it opens up the same dialog box no matter which one you're dealing with here. So I'll deal with the envelopes for right now. And what you do is you type in simply a delivery address. And in fact, I'll pause things now while I do the typing so you don't have to watch that painful exercise. So there we go, and the delivery address has been added. Very easy to do. And then we just go down to the return address section, use the dialog box there, or the entry box, and we can start typing away. Or what you can do is you can save yourself some typing, and you can do this in the delivery address as well, but you can insert an address from your address book. And so then you select your address book. If you have a default one, it will be selected. If you have Outlook, for example, you may be prompted for to choose a profile, but however you get there, you'll going to get to a list of contacts that you've built in probably another program and you can make a selection and you can click on OK and then it will be added right there. Now you have some choices about what to do now. Can you just print the envelope? Absolutely. You can just click on the print button and send uh, an envelope to the printer. What kind of envelope is it? Well, click on this preview section right here. You can either click on options or you can just click on the preview section. Uh, the icon, icon, the picture, whatever we're calling it here, just click there and it will open up the envelope options dialog box. Set your envelope size, set your delivery address font, you can make your font, you know, you have all the options that you do when you're dealing with font in the document itself, so if you want to get creative, be my guest, I'm going to leave it to let Word do the work for me here, so same thing with the return address. And then here on the feed, you can give it a click, or again, open up the options dialog box. So you have envelope options, printing options. So you decide how the envelope feeds into the printer. And in my case, my particular printer that I use most often, it would be that. So uh, this is how Word will handle the feeding of the envelope. And notice here that under most circumstances, you won't even have to set a feed. It just If you have problems, you probably ought to accept the default or select the automatically select, leave that option alone, and then click on OK. Now, either print it or add it to the document. So if we add it to the document, and if this is the first time we do this, we'll be prompted with this question here. Do you want to save the new return address as the default return address? Well, sure. That way, when I create a new something, a new envelope, it will automatically be loaded in there. So if I, again, start a new document here or maybe switch back to the Magna Carta and decide, you know what, I want uh, an envelope for this one as well, that return address, again, will be the default because of that question I just answered.